there has been kind of criticisms that Macron's reforms, his uh, his U-turns, it might you might say, um, have not really gone far enough to address those demands. Of course, we saw alongside these kind of um, these these central kind of uh, the central defence of pouvoir d'achat, of motoring costs, of all the rest of it. Um, this this um, idea of the 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 citizens' referendums um, emerge as well. The RIC, um, about how people could somehow drive politics. Now that's something that's always been rejected out of hand by uh, by politicians. They've, they've given little bits around the side, they've kind of addressed those issues, but it's not something you can really accommodate within the French system. So I think always there's going to be this dissatisfaction. I think the movement sits somewhere historically between the sort of the Pujadist movement before it became a party and the kind of grand refusal of 1995 when people um, mobilised against um, the, the reforms. Um, I think you've got this idea of a kind of something which is, is still growing in the suburbs, a disenfranchisement, a dissatisfaction with the movement of the French economy. I think what will turn it around will only big, be bigger structural changes, will be upturns in the economy, will be kind of a, a, a kind of increase in employment, an idea that they can increase and reinforce some of those social structures. Whether that will be seen, impossible to say.